You slept for eight hours. You got 16 hours left. How many of y'all talk on the phone? Right? You, t- you have talked away your success. So some of you, if you look at your day, you probably spent an hour or two hours. Right? Because I realized something. When I started studying successful people, what I realized successful people do is that they don't go with the days, they go with the hours. And if you only have 24 hours in a day and you sleep at any of those hours, then you only have what left? You ain't, you don't, listen to me, you only operate with 16 hours to be successful. Now, let's leave, let's leave sleep alone. You slept for eight hours, you got 16 hours left. How many of y'all talk on the phone? Right? You, t- you have talked away your success. So some of you, if you look at your day, you probably spend an hour or two hours on the telephone. And why, this is what's crazy about the telephone. It's not a redeemable value. So when you talk to your homegirl on the phone and you gossiping with your girl, I'm not talking about the phone conversation. I'm not tripping about that. What I'm tripping about is you eating away at your hours. So you only have so many hours in a day to be successful. Eight of them just went to sleep. Another two of them went to what? Talking on the telephone. Listen to me, that's 10 out of 24. You only got 14 left to be successful. And out of that 14, some of you are using the cab. You was in the cab for about an hour chilling. chill. Right, two. I got two. You in that two. Right? Listen to what I'm saying. You have less than eight hours, some of you, to get what you need to get done. And I'm not tripping. You can use your time like you want to. But if you're only putting in eight hours a day and you think you're going to be successful when you get out of here, you got another thing coming. People who are, let me say something, I want to say something real quick about success. Success, whether you know it or not, is very intentional and deliberate. There has never, ever been a person who blew up and was successful and it happened by chance. Right here where you are last year and I watched the class of 2006. And I said, wow. That's what a Hall of Famer is. Certainly I am not that. And I doubt it, I would ever have the chance to stand before you today. So when I returned home, I spoke with Michael and Elijah and I said, that's how you do it, son. You do it like they did it. I wanted to stand in front of my boys and say, do it like your dad, like any proud dad would want to. And at that moment, a voice came over me and it said, Look up, get up, but don't ever give up. You tell everyone or anyone that has ever doubted, thought they did not measure up, or wanted to quit. You tell them to look up, get up, and don't ever give up. Thank you, and may God bless you. somebody tell you you can't do something not even me If you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Anything possible. Anything possible. He told the guy, he said, when you want to.
to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you try to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad and you want to party. You don't want it as much.